Hello, my name is Stan and I'm absolutely excited to be filming this video because today we will reveal some of the most awesome things coming to Multilogin very soon. Now, and, and, it, and it has to do with browser automation. Now, currently all browser automation inside the browser profiles can only be performed using Selenium Framework. And Selenium Framework is what it is. It's a framework which basically means that you need to either know code or hire an external programmer if you need to do any automation inside the browser. And don't get me wrong, Selenium is an excellent framework. However, it does like few very nice features which can be useful to uh, creating automation scripts. For example, real mouse movement or element recognition by image. And let me tell you that these two things will be soon solved with integration with Browser Automation Studio, short for BUS. So what is Browser Automation Studio? Essentially, it's a software that is designed for you to build your automation scripts without knowing any code. It's essentially a browser automation constructor where you specifically points out which actions you want the browser to perform, then you can save it as a project, and at any point you can edit it or change it to suit your needs. So without much talk, how about if I launch Browser Automation Studio on my computer and we will see what, is, what the software is exactly. So right here I have Browser Automation Studio opened and we are greeted with this screen. Now, I have already made a script, uh, which I will show you what it does. And let's load it. This is the script I've done. And essentially, you're greeted with two things. Either you can record or run. We'll click record. And this is the main hub for Browser Automation Studio, where you can edit and click all the things that are needed. Now, on the left side, you can see that you basically see these uh, browser tasks which you can edit and change. On the right you can find these tasks which you can add to this layout. And there's many elements that you can add in your browser automation script. For example, you can add some networking settings, add waiting time, yeah there is multi-login integration of course, you can either add, uh, for example, taking some information from your computer and inserting into a web page, which is file systems. However, let me point out that this is not a full review on browser automation. It's mostly like an introduction on what it is and how it will be used with multi-login. I have a small script ready right here that I have done. And essentially what it does is that it, it first starts multi-login, then it goes to google.com it types in the search bar Browser Automation Studio, then it chooses from the uh, suggested ones, it clicks on an element inside the Google search page, and then it does some, some actions that you will see. And we can even replay this by clicking the play button. So we can see that it shows us what the script does exactly. It goes to Google, it searches for Browser Automation, then it goes to uh, the Browser Automation website and tries to download. And you may already see one of the most awesome things here is the real mouse movement. Okay, so we have the small script ready right here with all these awesome features. Uh, how about if we try to run, uh, run the script inside Multilogin? So, as you can see, I have start using multi-login element here, and it's actually very easy to add. Let me show you, let me delete it first. Now let me delete this. In order to start using multi-login, I just click right here, and multi-login, start using MLA. Okay, and now it's added. Okay, so we'll start, uh, so, so we will stop recording, and we will run it. So as you can see, it launches multi-login. Now it should create a separate profile, opens the profile, 
goes to Google, types Browser Automation Studio, selects from the suggested ones, and clicks the second link. Yep, it does. Clicks download and tries to download. So excited because when I see this, it's absolutely amazing. It's like magic. And the best part is, is that you can edit it, create these uh, browser tasks, browser automation tasks without knowing any code. Plus it gives additional awesome features we can, which can be useful with creation of different automation scripts. So currently, as you may have noticed in the video, in this example, is that uh, mouse movement was not, uh, was not shown inside the multi-login browser window. And that is because, and that is essentially because uh, the integration is currently being developed. This is a very raw version. And what I would like to say is that if you're interested in trying it out, I would suggest that you go to our Telegram channel and subscribing there for more news. However, if you're watching this video in the future, just check the links below to find out more. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you're excited as I am. Bye-bye.